Cheers to the team at Bushbuck for supplying the gear to keep us warm, dry and safe in the hills. It had been several weeks since the boys had been out on a mission. With the busy Christmas period almost upon us, we weren't going to turn down the chance to head into an area that had been on the hit list for some time. With our mates Struan joining us, a pretty average weather forecast and heavy packs we loaded the 500 and set off. Come along and enjoy the adventure, it's going to be an epic. If you're looking at doing a flight into Fjordland, look into Fjordland Heli. We'd like to give them a big shout out for always getting us in safely and on time. Oh, nice one. Here we are again. <laughs> Fjordland boys up on the tops. Got a few miles to do this time. Yep, now the country looks amazing, doesn't it? Some yeah, it's quite overwhelming. We just sort of flew up the, the valley we want to um, walk, spend the next couple of days walking down. And um, there's so many side basins and wee um, guts and valleys that we can look into, so it's going to be, uh, be an epic, I reckon. Yeah, she'll be a stretch out for the legs, all right. But no, we're looking forward to the challenge and some of those high basins, man, this, that country looks great, so. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully we've got some ideas on where we can get a, a sham and maybe see a deer. Yeah, it looked really nice down that lower end for deer, eh? Um, that river was quite gorgy in the middle too, which we'll just stick to one yeah. side of it. Okay, yeah. It's quite good that. to fly up to get, to get your bearings on where you are and what it looks like. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, we've got a few, yeah. a few days, what, three and a half days up our sleeves, so... Looking forward to getting into it and making the most of it, giving the legs a bit of a workout and no, we're pretty amped, so... Uh, we'll see how we get on. Oh, Smoking barrels, exciting, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah brothers. Sorry. Right, oh, well, we've been. Uh, sort of sitting and having a bit of, bit of lunch and mulling over what we're going to do. Um, she's bloody warm at the moment but it's sort of just gone past three o'clock and um, we thought oh we'd better beat the feet, make the most of the afternoon. And um, Aaron just decided oh, we haven't seen a chamois yet so we thought oh, we might just wing it but Aaron just decided to take a seat there and get the binos out one last time and as per usual <laughs> it's picked up a couple of chamois so it's back on again. Um, seems to be the luck. We're pretty wrapped. Yeah, yeah, they look pretty small on the binos though, so um, we've got a bit of walking to do, but it's, uh, it's good, it's what we want. We'll get up there and um, see what unveils. Yep, she's a long way away, she's going to be a big slog, but we've still got, what, seven hours up our sleeve or something we can torch back in the dark if we have to. Yes, yeah, the beauty of summer hunting, eh? It's not dark till 10 o'clock, so... Yep. So we've seen two, no doubt there'll be others along the way, so yep. we'll give it heaps.
bloody good, yeah, we, we've busted our gut getting up here, we're certainly a bit unfit or fitter than we should be, but um, anyway, we've made it here, we've got on the nice ridge, we're overlooking Shemi Basin once again, and um, it's taken a while, we stopped for something to eat, and we pulled out the binos again, and Aaron's picked up a, what looks like a lone buck sitting down in the creek down here, so, what do you reckon, none nuts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. That's a wash up then, is it? <laughs> Uh, no, it's good, it's good, because there's chamois over the far ridge too, so um, the chamois in a bit of a spot where, you know, we're just going to have to beeline it for it, um, and it could could go either way, we could spook it or um, close the gap, so if, if, you know, we bugger this one up, it's all good, there's a few over the ridge as well, so we're in a good position here, Yeah. and um, strangely enough, it's sitting down facing uphill, so well, you know, if we make a move soon, then that's going to play into our advantage, and, um, if we can just get closer and get some footage and gauge what sort of calibre it is, it'll be great. Yep, so always good to see something. Good old Chamois Basin produces again. Yeah, so we'll hatch a plan and we'll, we'll scramble down there and we'll try and get a bit closer and we'll see how we get on. It looks quite plump, eh? Must have been feeding well. It's a wee fatty, is he? Yeah. Nice bro. How'd that go? Yeah, he's down. Good stuff, man. Good boys, brother. Oh, gun's shooting pretty sweet. If that this goes 10 and again, man, I'm definitely putting a stag in your cheek. <laughs> that was a good chest shot. Nice, so. bro. Good day, brother. <laughs> pretty happy about that, eh? Oh, mate, good stuff. Oh, that was a pretty heated wee stalk, but yeah, get a good sweat up. <laughs> so could have gone 10 bro, mate. ways. Yeah, Go for it, boys. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh well, that was a pretty successful little scramble there. We um, spotted the chamois up on the top ridge and we were sort of pretty exposed when it came to sneaking into him, but we managed to sidle down the slope there through the grass, sneak on in. He kind of got a bit of a jip on us. He looked a little bit uneasy, but he stayed there long enough for a shot, didn't he? And and he did it, successfully. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody good shot too. Managed to jump behind the rifle and dial it up and Aaron behind the camera, I think we got some pretty good footage and yeah, looks good. sunk a pill into him and he's on the deck. So yeah, couldn't be more happy. Fresh chamois for the Aspire and um, Fjordland boys haven't been out for a while. So yeah, it looks like it might be respectable too, eh? Yeah, oh, definitely man, yep, yep, yep. As you say, it couldn't have played out any better. It's, it's always hard to, you've got a couple of options which way you want to stalk and you know, you always try pick the best one but it's never always going to work and that one seemed to so they come together right yep, yep good shooting man Share my right. rice. <laughs> <laughs> hey nice one brother chamois on the deck good work man look at that oh. 
Little beauty. Good work, bro. You're awesome. Yep, stoked. Oh, I'm trying to talk here, mate. Uh. <laughs> nah, right, cool. Well, that's um, that's today. Just about done. We've still got a fair way to get back to camp, but um, yep, it worked out really nice actually. The chamois we initially saw and we were walking um, to, uh, well, we've, we went over there just before and couldn't find them. So we bumped into one along the way that Adam took, which um, we've got in the pack there. So um, yeah, no, bloody good um, outcome, really, eh? Good start to the trip, yeah, still about two and a half, three days up our sleeves and a yep. few good nights, so I'm sure we'll get on to some more sham and potential for a, a red somewhere along the way as well, so yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah, we got up over into that catchment to look for those chamois, but um, the cloud was coming in fr from both ways, but when it um, when it dissipated, we could have a look around and couldn't find them, so they could have gone anywhere, but um, that's that's good, bumping into that fella earlier on, so. Yeah, yeah, it was a blessing in disguise, wasn't it? Yeah, no, plan now, get down, get get some water and then uh, drop down to the valley and then back up to our campsite. Put on a mean feed, how? Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> With the first day under our belts, we start the big walk back to camp, reflecting on what had been a great day in the hills. Approaching camp exhausted, we set to having dinner and chat excitedly about what could unfold tomorrow. It was uh, quite rainy and windy last night so didn't know what this morning would look like but clouds have been coming coming and going and uh, yeah it's just cleared up now quite nicely so we've been over here earlier this morning and uh, yeah seen a, a deer down on one of these faces and it screams out chamois country as well so we've climbed over here and just about to crest the brow and hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's still there we when we came over this morning we didn't have any camera gear, so we'll go see if it's still there and get some footage. Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is! It's on the side of that um, screw there. Is it on No, no, it's feeding. Yeah, perfect. I don't actually have it. We um, had a bit of a windy windy night last night, but a rain came through and didn't really know what this morning was going to look like, but it's cleared up um, nicely. The clouds have been coming and going all morning, but yeah, nice and, nice and clear now. And Early morning we actually propped over here when it was cloudy and um, one of the boys spotted a, spotted a hind down feeding on, on the greens. Actually sounds like it might be a wee stag, so uh, didn't have the camera gear but we've popped back, grabbed the cameras, come back over, it's cleared up beautifully. We can just see it down in this face here. Um, you see a big scree slip and a big green um, feeding edge and uh, yeah you won't be able to see it. You won't be able to see it with the GoPro but um, it's, it's down there feeding so we'll get the bigger camera on it and um, get some get some footage. But yeah, awesome country. We trail across with the tip of that tusk. Um, oh, he's, yeah, he's looking tusk. down. He's looking down here, yeah. right? As if he's looking for his buddy. Looking for his dad, man. Hopefully. You see that? He might be looking back for somebody. The wind would be going up valley, right? Would it? Yeah. Maybe he's just sniffing the wind. Maybe he's so shimmy. <laughs> they do that. <laughs> Healthy looking animal. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm just gonna keep filming this dude. Yeah, Oh, you wanna take it with you? Come back. It's quite 
nice just getting some footage of this guy feeding his way happily. These are my favourite times on the hill, eh? Good food, views, just relaxing. It's awesome. Back on our feet, on the mission, heading down valley. Got some nice country down there to look into. Get to the scrub line, maybe a few more deer down that way. So, pretty lucky this morning spotting that little, that young velvety, that was cool footage. So, yeah, played around with him for a while and obviously packed up camp and we're out of here. Stiff breeze behind us, which isn't ideal, but what do you do? Find us a nice camp spot. Andrew. That's the one. What's it? Nice. Yeah. Right, oh, camp's all packed up. Boys are on the mish once again. We're actually following a pretty solid deer trail up here, so that's a positive sign. <laughs> Look at this. Prints everywhere. <laughs> Look at that's been chomped up. The game trail, eh? So, boys are out on the mission. Yes. Changing the species tonight, though. Go up deer. Hopefully, uh, ones with velvet on top. Yeah, we've seen that young stag this morning that was cool, but we're hoping for something a little bit bigger. And Aaron's quite keen to get his eyes on a big stag. We've heard there could be the odd goody around here, but um, we're not going to complain about seeing Shem either, of course. Yeah, that's right. No, it's, um, it looks like a nice valley. We're not going to climb up too high just at the moment. We're just going to go up the middle of the valley. The wind's up our ass at the moment, but once we get around the corner, hopefully it's coming uh, coming to us. And then uh, if we spy anything from the sides, we'll scramble up. Nice fun. Sounds like a good plan. Pretty excited about this part of the journey, so yeah. we'll hit the trail. Oh, that's pretty productive, eh? Um, one of the boys just spotted a, a nice stag up on uh, 
on a, on a face up the valley that we were heading into. So it's actually worked out perfectly. The wind is in our face and um, there's a stag feeding on a wee tussock, tussock face there. It's awesome. Um, it's quite a nice stag too. It's got the brows and trays and it's got, got a bit of length to it but it's not developed up top so it's not going to be a taker for us but we really want to go in and get some footage and see what sort of animal it is. Um, if there's one there might be more too and the valley um, the valley, valley floor is nice and open as well so good feed areas for them so just at that right time of the night might be about 5.30 at the moment starting to come out to feed so that's the plan we'll get in there and see see what's around it's easy to talk ourselves into it but we'd waste it yeah yeah it would be <laughs> you're a bad influence you are no, that's, no actually you're the man and you're spotting all the animals <laughs> Well that concludes part one guys, stay tuned for part two where we climb into a side valley and encounter multiple stags. That evening Aaron picks a target and you'd be surprised what happens. Cheers for watching and subscribe for further hunting adventures.